hopefully everyone's doing well. Um, so this morning, uh, we're gonna go for a little cruise. Uh, we're gonna, I think we're gonna go visit my old high school, and then uh, this one little photo shoot spot I used to use a lot uh, over there. So um, let's get into it. And if you keep wondering why I look, keep looking over here. Uh, I have a little screen that shows what my screen's recording, so that's just what I'm looking at. So, uh, let's get into it. Alright, so like I said, um, me and my buddies went here behind me to Centennial High School for four years and um, like I was talking about where we parked, so we used to park here in the back row to get basically all these spots over here all the way, well that, that was never there, but so everything from here until there was our spot, and then we had a few, few people over here on this spot, so um, this is where usually I would park right kind of where this tree was so you'd get the car always always parked backwards and then in a good sense it was parked backwards and then everybody driving by would be able to see the car so you'd get the school there and the car here it made perfect sense to us at the moment as to why we would park all the way back here but um yeah you know good memories good time here i was in publications so i had a little bit of a sense is is to uh how to make the yearbook and stuff like that but uh let's see i'm gonna go walk around and see if there's anything cool to see I'm sure all the doors are locked, but uh, I think we could get close to the track, or at least go to the back side, so we'll see. Oh, and then here's one thing that I never got to do. So the seniors that were here last, they all had chances to paint their own parking spots. So as you can see, those are probably the seniors that were going to graduate before this whole COVID-19 situation started. And, yeah, man, I kind of wish we could do that, but um, I'm sure me and my buddies probably wouldn't have been creative enough to do anything cool. But um, there was probably a few people that could have been creative, but... uh yeah all right let's walk around and kind of see if there's anything cool to see all right so i think the track is closed because um there's gates or all the gates are locked but there is one guy down there but uh yeah this is kind of should have focused on the field big and you know big kind of you know usual track and field that a high school would have so a little football field in the middle and then you got the track running around it so let's see 
if there's anything else cool or at least anything that isn't closed so let's see all right i'm over here next to the portables and as you can see here um i think i had two classes in the portables and i think one of them was history and i can't remember the other one but oh, i remember during the summertime because the portables didn't really i mean they had air conditioning but it wasn't the greatest so we'd always kind of keep the door propped and then because the doors were usually locked um you'd have to get up and open the door and stuff like that which kind of sucked but it made being in a portable kind of kind of fun and i just want to check but i bet these doors are locked i kind of want to get in kind of see what it looks like but yeah they're locked so mission failed on there and i mean it kind of sucks that all the all the big fields are the gates for the fields are all locked but i guess if you want to keep the school looking nice and stuff like that you gotta lock everything so nobody gets in and here's the soccer field to my right right here So that's where we played soccer um and i was also in photography class funny thing um that's kind of where i got into photography and kind of video stuff so we used to use that field and kind of then we went over to the track used the track kind of as like props because there was one project we had where we had to use a shoe box for um we had to use a shoebox for a, uh, to use, to, we had to use a shoebox to take pictures, because we were making negatives, and that was pretty fun, but it always take two, three tries to get the picture right, so, in the next to the soccer field over there, we have the baseball field, and, um, I kind of, I tried out for the baseball team one year, because I used to play, but, uh, I didn't make the cut, so. But uh, here's the baseball field kind of abandoned. And yeah, this is actually kind of cool. I kind of like it when there's no one here and it's kind of, you know, quiet and, well, it's not really mysterious, but, you know, it's quiet and kind of peaceful, especially because it's like 8 in the morning, so nobody is really, at least people my age, I know people my age are usually sleeping by now, or still sleeping, but, yeah, I kind of, I kind of like this. Okay, so I'm towards kind of the staff parking lot in the truck or the, the bus area over here and I tell you what it used to be a scramble because the buses used to be over there behind the trees and there's all kinds of lanes back there it used to be a scramble to get to the bus because there were so many kids that would take the bus it was like it was like a freaking sea of ants or something like that all going to the buses and it was chaos but I remember the, because the first day you wouldn't really know which bus you're riding, so you just have to go one by one, kind of look and see uh, where your bus driver was. But uh, now that we're here at the back side of the school, um, let's see, because there's the gates over here, the little grates, so let's see if you can kind of see inside. I 
as you can see a little bit. So that would take you to the kind of the center area. Then up the stairs would take you to like the library and the dean's office and stuff like that. Um, all these lockers. I'm not sure you could see there's lockers over here. And then to the right side of the stairs over there, there's lockers. So I used to have a locker over there. I probably used it for only one week, but then, uh, so there's a classroom doors there and classroom doors over there and the same thing on the other side. So this brings back good memories. And then this thing right here, this used to be, there's a big spiral walkway that would go from the top all the way to the bottom. So people in like wheelchairs could get upstairs and stuff like that. So that's kind of cool. And yeah, I think there was a cool little spot back there at the back of the school where it was kind of dark and it's kind of helping with these cloudy clouds. These clouds coming in, I think I'm going to go back there and snap a few pictures of my car because it's kind of industrial looking. So I think we're going to do that. All right, so um, I think I'm going to back up just bit more and then it'll look good so um yeah I'm gonna back up a little bit more and then snap some pics Okay, so then um, we're gonna go to one other spot here. It's like 30 seconds away. So um, it's a photo spot that I used to go to quite a bit. So um, I'll see you there. And these speed bumps used to be ruthless for everyone that was lowered. I didn't have any issues because I'm not that low. I'm not low at all, pretty much in my opinion. But these speed bumps right here, all the guys with 240s and GSs and everything like that used to hate them. All right, so instead of going to that spot where I was going to, which is right behind me, there's a, there's a car or somebody over there, so I don't want to go over there. So, but uh, so. My school Centennial's right over there. I'm pointing. Then, uh, so this road right here should take you. There's a stop sign right here. You'd go up this road. Um, so there's a neighborhood they started. There's a neighborhood they started building there. So it was a long, kind of empty road that would almost um, curve onto this highway right here. But uh, instead, they started to build a community of like houses there. So. Um, a good photo spot, a good photo spot that got ruined, oh frick, sorry about that, it was a good photo spot that got ruined by some people that wanted to build, ho build houses, so, um, yeah, but, look at me, I tell you what, this car is so friggin' sick, every time I look at it, I'm like, dude, But uh, yeah, so I think that's gonna wrap it up on this one. 
Um, I hope you guys kind of enjoyed coming with me to my old high school and kind of checking it out and taking some pictures with me as well. Um, so with that, I'm going to sign off. And if you guys haven't already, uh, please subscribe. It only takes a second. And I'm not sure if you want to hit that uh, bell notification thing next to the uh, subscribe button as well to get notified when I upload videos. Uh, that would be awesome. If you haven't liked already, please like and comment what you think about this type of video or if you have any uh, memories like this that have come up to your mind or anything cool that happened in high school with you and your buddies, buddies and with cars. So uh, with that, um, it's been Oscar and I'll see you guys in the next one. See ya. Hang on.